plan was to uh, shoot as many of the visual effects um, uh, in a, a practical way as possible without resorting to uh, CG or digital solutions. And we always had our digital and CG backup plans for everything, but we'd always start with the, the practical version first. So, um, uh, and by the way, like, you know, special effects guys, not visual effects guys, the so special effects guys are like, you know, the practical guys, they love that because everything is digital now. So it's like, they're almost like, you know, the bastard children that time forgot. So. They're like model makers. Yeah, they they're like, yeah, they're like, we have no purpose here and this <laughs> life sucks. So then when we, we had our first like, you know, big meetings with everybody, it was just like, okay, so the car scene, get us a car that can crush and compress into the size of a small refrigerator, and then like the visual effect, digital guys were like, what, what do you mean find a car? There's no, and then they're like, we know where to find a car that can do that, and they like <laughs> got some junky car, and they created this, um, uh, they created this, um, I don't even know how to describe it, it's just a big. Um, uh, big hydraulic yeah, ram big hydraulic that thing. sucks the car in. Yeah, on the last take we're like, this is, we only have one car to do it, so it was going to be a one -er. and, um, you know, that's like studio filmmaking meets, like, independent filmmaking. It's like, it's, we really have one. So then... So um, before action, yeah. you, you, they have to start the generator up. Yeah, so they have to start the, the generator up. And, then and somebody's telling me on set that this is going to be terrible for sound and that I'm going to get in trouble. And I'm like, all right. So then they start up the generator. It's like, and then Dane's doing his whole thing. And then at the end... so. By the way, Dane is like looking ahead the entire time. He's just like looking at the camera. He's saying his monologue. He's really like intense. And uh, he never looks behind at the car the entire time. So then finally he does his like bit. And it was the timing was perfect. It couldn't have worked any better. Um, the, our guy Mickey, he had the, you know, the like the TNT, you know, thing. <laughs> And then he goes like that, and the car crushed, and Dane is just like so, like just felt it behind him or something, and he really got that timing down perfectly. And mind you, he never looked at the car from the beginning of the take when it was a whole car. So then when I called cut, he turned around, and he was just like, oh my god! <laughs> like,